Good day everyone, this is Mike with Michael J. Turner Home Inspections and the reason why I'm doing this short video, do you have a FVI or gas water heater 2003 or newer, is because the other day when I was doing an inspection, the listing agent happened to be present. And as I told my client that the water heater was inoperable due to a dirty air filter or a spark screen arrestor, she was unaware that the water heaters even had filters. So this is the need for continuing education classes that I'll be providing later on in this video. Stay tuned and at the very end, I'll show you how to get continuing education credits through Louisiana Real Estate Commission. Let's talk about the flame vapor ignition resistant. It's an FVIR. Since 2003, it has to be code compliant. Remember the mold water heaters? We used to have to take the cover panel off, grab a match, light the pilot, the gas flame, let the thermal coupling get warm before everything came on. Well, no longer. Since 2003, the ANSI, which is the American National Standards Institute, created this safety device. They call it an FVIR. And basically, the only thing you're going to have now is a viewport. This is basically a glass viewport. There's no more reaching in with a match. Basically, it's like a barbecue pit. You literally turn the valve, the gas position to on. You strike the igniter until it sparks. Boom, it comes on. I'm not going to go into too much detail. I just kind of want to give you a brief understanding of what's going on. On this next illustration, you'll see three photographs. This one's showing that there's dust and cobwebs on an air intake that will actually trip the FVIR. Once this becomes clogged and restricted, the airflow to the combustion chamber is going to shut the gas off. Therefore, you're not going to have a working water heater. Most of the time when you buy a water heater, inside the box there's this screen. It's a black screen that wraps around the bottom of the tank. This filter is supposed to stop debris such as lint because if it's in a laundry or a garage or if it's in the attic from insulation. The best thing to do is have these screens cleaned and many times these are neglected or not put on. So the best thing to do is have the licensed master plumber come by. He's going to clean the screen. He's going to clean the arrestor. And if you have problems where your water heater won't stay lit, it's not always a gas problem or in the valve or a thermal coupling. It may just be the screen inside the water heater tank. Move on to the next one. Real estate agents want to have fun learning while gaining continuing education credits? Contact Tracy at 504-382-2410. You can visit our website at turnerhomeinspection.com. You can like us on Facebook or you can leave us a review on Google. Here are some of the continued education classes being provided by Michael J. Turner Home Inspections. Common Material Defects, Insulation, Department of Energy Building Science, Ventilation, Electrical, Roofing and Flashing, Exteriors, Decks, Windows, the Slope or Grading of the Foundation, What's Grandfathered In, What's Code, What's Not Code, and communications relating this to your clients understanding what the home inspector is saying and what the general contractor is saying structure and foundations louisiana standards of practice as it relates to home inspection this is something that the real estate agents do not receive the client receives this so it's a good idea to sit in my class and understand what really is covered by a home inspection hvac systems for more information, contact Tracy at 504-382-2410 to get your continuing education classes today. 